yes uh, dear students our next topic is uh, string handling functions in the last video we have discussed the basic manipulation functions in string those are called as string finding the length of the string and copying the st one string into another string so we have discussed the basic three, two of manipulation functions in the last video the next video is about string handling functions available in string.h header file or uh, these are the uh, some built in functions available in string.h header file we know that string.h header files in most of the cases we have included string.h header files to uh, manipulate our uh, um, uh, string uh, functions what are those functions what is the basic operations it is included in the in string.h is uh, our topic today okay so when you see the uh, ppt so the so, some of the important uh, functions are uh, listed right here what is the first function means string length str ln it is a case sensitive language so you don't include any you don't change any cases str len it should not contain any spaces and it should not have any uh, input arguments so this is the basic built-in functions what it will do means it calculates the length of the string say for example str len of your uh, one string input string is given means it finds the total number of characters in your string and it returns an integer value as a resultant argument okay so this is the nature of the function str len is a one of the built-in function which calculates the length of the string okay what is the first one then what is the next one what str cpy so str cpy is nothing but it copies one string into another string it copies the content of one string original string into destination string and results the uh, destination string as a resultant value okay that is the next function then what is the third function strcet that means that it co concatenates concatenates two strings say for example many of your many of us will have uh, uh, our name as with uh, surname first name middle name and last name like that okay many of us um, obviously everybody has one surname uh, and then um, first name uh, middle name and last name okay now my concept is i want to concatenate i want to join all together in one my in, in one variable means this is the best possible functions to join all your uh, surname middle name and la whatever it is okay so strcat what it will do means it joins two strings finally that uh, it it takes two arguments first name and second name second string so it what it will do means it adds the first name with second name and the added string is stored in the first name okay this is a very very important point here what it will results means first it adds the first name with the second name then added string will be replaced in your first name okay so that is what uh, the speciality of the str cat then what uh, next what is the next function str cmp that is nothing but compares two string it compares two strings so whether the string are equal or not so how we, it compares means based on the ascii values of each uh, character in a string okay it starts from the first letter of one first string with the another first letter of another string so if the ascii values of both characters in a first uh, first characters in letter uh, string means same means it will neg neglect then it goes to the next uh, character in, of original string with another string that means second string if it matches it neglects so in like ways it starts from first letter to till it reaches to the largest last letter it compares the ascii values of each character in a string if any if not matching cases what it will return means it will return the difference of its ascii value say for example my first string is the uh, sorry t-h-e-r-e my first string is there then a second string is t-h-e-i-r okay so assume that my st first string is t-h-e-r-e -E, then second string is t-h-e-i-r okay fine so what it will do compares first it starts with the first letter of each string so what is the first letter t so t means it matches okay now neglect it will go to the next character what is the next character in uh, each string 
H. So in this case also it matches OK fine. So what is the third letter? E. So E also will match, will neglect. Then what is the fourth letter in the first uh, string? R. R in the first, uh, first letter, first string. And then in the second string I. So in that way it differs. So it differs in the fourth character of the strings. So what in that case, what it will return means, it will return the ASCII values, differences between ASCII value of R with E. Okay. Obviously, uh, uh, ASCII value of R is greater than E because the ASCII values will be assigned from A to Z only. Okay. So then the ASCII values will be assigned from A to Z. So obviously, which one will be the bigger one? R, ASCII value of R is bigger because R is coming uh, next to E. So, ASCII value of E is uh, small, ASCII value of R is greater. So, what it will return means, it will return these differences between the values of ASCII values of R and E as a result. Okay, if in not matching cases, if all letters in all characters in each string, both strings are matches mean, it returns 0. Okay, so it returns 0 as a resultant value for the string comparison. What we are uh, talking now? We are talking about string comparisons. So string comparisons, if all matches, if both uh, strings are matches, mean it returns 0. Or if it not matching cases, it returns the ASCII values of characters in the one string to another string. So it returns the some integer as a differences between the ASCII value of the characters in first string with another string. Okay, this is the nature of string comparisons. Then, what is the next uh, function? str l w r. That means it converts these strings into lower cases. Whatever you have written, either in upper cases or lower cases, or in even in lower cases also, it entirely converts your string into lower cases. Then, what, uh, what is the next statement? str u p r. So, what it will return means it will return the entire your string insert into upper case. So these are the optional facilities available in your string.h. But basic first four character four functions are basic thing necessary and mandatory things for your string.h. Okay, fine. Now we are going to see about some sample programs about string.h. Okay. So first sample program I have which I have taken is counting the number of characters by using the function called as strlen. We know that strlen is the counts the number of characters in a string. Okay, for that I have written one sample program. It starts with void main. Okay, character uh, input string is my input character. Okay, then. Uh, int length. Length is to count the uh, length is one of the variable to maintain the now total number of count uh, characters. Then I have enter, uh, I have scanned my input string using get a statement. Then simply I have written one statement length equal to strln of input string. So what is my argument? Input string. Input string of 50 is an argument. So what is the, it will, uh, it will count the total number of characters in the string. That uh, total number of characters will be written as a length. So at last I am going to, I have printed the uh, number of characters using the length variable. Very simple one. But just we have used the strln function as a built-in function which is available in stream.h. Just I have used that function to count the number of variables. No need to write while loop and for loop to maintain the counter loop and counter variables and all. Just I have used it. That is a ready-made function which is available in your uh, stream.h. Okay, this is a one of the sample program. The next sample program is to uh, implement the str cat function we know that str cat function is the concatenation of two strings that is joining of two strings what is the first statement void main okay here i have used three strings first name middle name and last name okay so i have given the values also my first name of 30 is equal to college then middle name of uh, middle name is equal to of applied something one very one string i have given then last name is business okay now i'm going to um, implement the concatenation function using string concat directly okay so as of now we have initialized the values of three strings then what is my first line in string sts cat means sts cat of first name and middle name 
okay so what it will do means first name and middle name will be joined together then the joined added string will be stored in the variable first name so after the execution of this str cat first name and middle name what it uh, compiler will give the values equal to first name equal to college of applied so uh, what is the value of first name is equal first name means college of applied okay then i that is printed in the first name so what is the what is my first output is uh, college of uh, college, uh, sorry college of applied then after that also i am applying one string concatenation in that i have uh, used this first name comma last name what is the present value of first name in now college of applied it is added with the last name called a business okay finally after this execution of this string concatenation what it will do means it will uh, join all all names college of applied business is my final um uh, added string that is stored in the first name that is what printed in the next statement printer put as of first name so finally what will get what i'll get means a uh, college of applied business is my final added string that is stored in the variable first non first name is printed getting printed okay so this is the example for str cat cat concatenation of two strings so uh, students uh, you can i th i hope so you can understand how to use the string handling functions built in fill, uh, string handling functions in uh, university programs hope you understood i will catch with the next uh, topic which is called as user defined function in your model 3 so take care uh, do more exercises uh, don't waste your times Uh, it will be very basic things to you. I hope everyone understand these uh, concepts. Bye. Catch you in the next video. Take care.